Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me once again Spaghetti Joey with another Spaghetti Joey Film Blogs. This is Spaghetti Joey Film Blogs, episode 23, titled Filmmaking and Storytelling. Now, this is cool. This is the fun part because I get to tell you guys the step-by-step process of how we're going to be making our film. Our film, as you already know, is called A Dying Heart. Now that we have A Dying Heart as the film's title, we know the main character, which is essential to the story we are going to be making and the film we are going to be adapting from the story. Now, um, I have been hard at work writing down this thing, planning things out, the process of it, um, putting all the information on my journal. I have it right here on my lap, all the stuff here. And just to give you guys like a little quick a uh, sneak peek of how much I'm going to be doing when you work a film. When you do a film, there's so much um, going for it. There's a lot you got to do. I mean, you're going, you have to know um, the, the whether it's an independent film or a studio film or you want to market it off for a film festival or uh, digital or straight to DVD. You know, it all depends on the format and what you want. So there's a lot of things that go into that. The type of filmmaking. Is it uh, traditional, which is um, pretty much um, eight, uh, super 8 or sometimes it's... Um, you know, uh, 35 millimeter, uh, depending on it, the traditional way where, where it's film stock and you, you pretty much cut it right there from the strip. You, you cut it literally physically cut it and then you put it together, clip it together. And that's how you do it the traditional way, or you could do it the digital way, which you can use computers nowadays, um, to film. You have stuff like the, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, what's the, it's the Panasonic AGHV um, X200 or Sony's PMW EX1. Those are just one of two different types of digital cameras that you can use. There's a lot. And um, that's just for the digital. Then you have the Panasonic AG DVX 100B. There's just a lot of stuff to understand when it comes to cameras. Just the camera in the way you're going to film your set your your content your film and um you know you have to develop a, a sense of a story you have to have an idea we have an idea but that ideas can change as the film story progresses you know so there's a lot i mean there's there's financing your film um you can find investors to put money into a movie um uh, budget, if the budget is low, make sure the numbers range is good for the film you are making. Uh, and the possibility of making a profit depending on the investors that invest. Sometimes they invest for the excitement of helping you make a film or sometimes they want a little bit of profit out of it for their own self. If it's advertising for something or advertising for themselves, whatever it is, they want some type of thing in their in their bargain in their deal you know something like that um you know putting together a, a prospects pretty much um how to fund um creating a website to gain all this stuff so you can put your film on the website and, and kind of put all that stuff together um budgeting budgeting and scheduling uh you're scheduling your shoot um, breaking down elements, for example, categories such as crew, props, equipment, um, EDC, uh, cost, the cost of determining how long you need to film, uh, two weeks, three weeks in, um, equipment, uh, locations, um, you know, and even possible schedule. But if you have a possible schedule and a budget, let's say an investor comes up to you and says, how much money do I need to put in? You can already tell him, oh, this is how much, this is the schedule. And from that schedule, they'll be like, oh, okay, so my money is going to this. All right, that's cool, you know? For example, they want to know where their money's going. They don't want to, you know, you're making a film and it's like, oh, the money's going to something that's not, you know, it's going to clothing and gas or whatever they want to know that it's going for the film they want to know what it's going for the, the stage sound or the editing or whatever it is they're going to help with that because they're investing their hard work money 
on that. So once they know the budget and the scheduling, they will help. So there's ways to do that. And um, you have planning your shoot, shooting your plan. You, have, you know, you can do, do storyboards. There's there's softwares now, storyboard, www.storyboardartist.com. Frameforce 3D, uh, www.frameforce3d.com. Each comes with a cast of characters along with libraries of props and locations to help you set the mood and build up from storyboard to storyboard your scenes. Um, there's filmmaker sites that I'm probably going to go on and show you guys later on, like www.imdb.com. That's more for like the professionals, people who are well known. You go on IMDb and you find information about people, uh, cast, characters, all these directors, programs, all this stuff. Um, www.ifp.org. Uh, you got www.storylink.com, www.aivf.org, um, www.ifp.org indietalk.com www.hollywoodwiretap.com and we're probably going to go into all these just to see how they are and what they do and what they can help with the film we are working on. Maybe they might have some crucial information that someone says or something happens or a way that they film. It's basically a filmmaker's community and if you want to be a filmmaker, you got to dive yourself into the wave of filmmakers out there that want to be known as well. Not just you. You have to go out there. You, you know, you're not going to go and hang out with a bunch of fishermen. No, you're a filmmaker. You have to get into that filmmaking mode and be part of the filmmaking community. And you can still do fishing if they like fishing too. You know, stuff like that. Um, you got um plan where to shoot your film. You have to choose whether to film at a real location, uh, a sound stage, or um, in a virtual location, stuff like that. Um, regardless of where you're shooting, you need to sign an agreement with the location owner to make sure you have it reserved for your shoot days. So there's a lot, guys. Hiring your cast and crew, pretty much that's a basic, right? Finding passionate people, though, that will work for the excitement of the film. Direct your action actors and get the best performances, you know, in the project, what you're doing. Shooting in the right direction. I'm the director. I'm the producer. I'm the one telling people what to do. Um, you know, directing people where they need to go. Um, establishing um, the equipment, the, um, the sound, the performances, the lighting. A lighting, uh, being heard and seen. Um, everything from actors taking direction, um, directing through the camera, um, cut it out, editing certain films, uh, the, the film so you can arrange certain things that go here and there, delete stuff that doesn't make, make any sense, unnecessary stuff, stuff like that. Everything here is important. You gotta make sure the visuals look good. You you gotta make sure the lighting is perfect for the scene. You gotta make sure um, people are hearing the sound. Everything from the actors to taking direction of what you want. Your This is your film. You want it the way you want it. You go out there and make it the way you want it by directing them, making sure they move over there on the camera framework, everything you name it. Directing through the camera is something different. You have to move the camera. Certain times you have to slow it. Certain times you have to give it a, a, a pace back and forth. There's a lot of stuff to learn and understand. But once everything's all put in storyboard and, and scripted and everything's underway for the camera, things will work smoothly. Um, editing, that's the that's kind of after everything's done, the filming done, you know, two week shoot, you do that, then you do the editing, you arrange stuff and all that, all that good stuff. There's so much we're going to do guys. Listening to your film, that's something people are like, oh, the, the film that we're filming is naturally, that's it. No, you have to make sure that you're listening to it because guess what guys, soundtrack. The soundtrack is important because you're adding effects, sound effects, music, dialogue. You're also adding titles and credits, words, which are very important for a film because you're crediting the people that helped you make it. And you're also putting the titles um, of the film to represent what that means, what that product is, what you, you did, what it's called so people know, oh, A Dying Heart. I know that film. Spaghetti Joey made that. Spaghetti Joey Films made that. It's a good film, or it was okay, or you know what? It's one of the coolest films on YouTube, whatever. The title's important, guys. The credits are important because they're going to see who worked on it and how far they worked on it. It's going to be awesome, guys. 
And then you got simulate, simulating film with software. There's softwares out there that let's say you don't have a camera, you can use programs nowadays. You can use your phone, your iPad, and use software to make it look professional and good, ladies and gentlemen. And that is awesome. So there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna build up to there, guys. And I'm working really hard on making this come true. And thanks to your guys' awesome support. Please like the video, subscribe for more video content, and leave a comment below on what you guys wanna help with what you guys would want to invest, and how much you would want to invest. Also, let's have fun. Let's have fun making this film, all right? All right, everyone. I hope you all have a delicious day.